Mesh Lemurie, and today we're gonna make hot fudge sauce and caramel sauce. Now, I use both of these in all sorts of desserts. They're a great base, and around the holidays, they make great gifts for neighbors. Let's get started. These sauces are amazing, and they couldn't be easier to make. Let's start with the hot fudge sauce. We have butter, and some corn syrup, some white sugar, some cocoa, and a little bit of salt. Finally, some evaporated milk. Now we just wanna bring this up to a boil. In my family, we actually call this uh, grandpa's hot fudge. And it's not because uh, grandpa's such a great chef and he invented this amazing hot fudge. The recipe is actually grandma's, but grandpa really loved it and would request it all the time. And anytime grandpa falls in love with a recipe and requests it a lot, my grandma teaches him how to make it so that he can be in charge of it. So thus it is turned into grandpa's hot fudge, grandpa's meatloaf, grandpa's bread. <laughs> now that it's boiling, we're gonna turn on the timer and let it boil for two and a half minutes. So you can see it's gotten much thicker and it's time to take it off the heat. Now we're gonna add our vanilla. Now this sauce is done, you can either enjoy it now or put it in the fridge and reheat it when you need it or put it in jars and hand it out to your neighbors. It's a wonderful holiday gift. Now this caramel sauce is just as easy as the hot fudge. We're gonna start with some butter again and some corn syrup again and then two different kinds of sugar. We have a brown sugar and regular granulated sugar. Then we're just gonna stir this and bring it to a boil. It'll take about five minutes. Now it's at this beautiful rolling boil. We're gonna let it boil for one minute and then take it off the heat. We're gonna let it cool for five minutes. And now add the whipping cream, stirring the whole time. Both of these batches make about two and a half cups of sauce, which is perfect for a family size. One of the great things about this recipe is you can double it, triple it, quadruple it, or more and it's just as easy to make. Like it doesn't get any harder as it gets bigger. In fact, around the holidays, I usually make like 10 to 15 times a single batch in my big, big, huge pot. I put them in little eight ounce jars. I also created some printables that fit right inside the jar so that they tell people what they are and they're festive. And I give these to my neighbors. They make a great gift. They're a really cute pair. Everybody always loves them. They store in the refrigerator great. They reheat beautifully, so they're a wonderful gift. Now I get to eat it. Mm. We make a lot of ice cream sundaes at my house. As you probably can guess. <laughs> now, I personally am in the camp that I like both the caramel and the hot fudge, but half my kids are chocolate only and half my kids are caramel only. They're crazy. Why well, have one? We usually have both. So oh, good. What sweet treats do you like to make your neighbors around this time of year? Just leave me a comment down below letting me know. I rotate between about three different things. Uh, these two things in jars is one year. Another year I'll do my homemade buttery caramels all wrapped up. Uh, and then another year I'll just do a tray of a bunch of miscellaneous treats, like just a little bit of each. So I don't know. I don't want my neighbors to get bored with me. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give them a try. Thanks for watching.